You know, this probably doesn't surprise anybody, but as a parent, you do set the tone for your kids in a lot of ways, uh-huh. even body image. Yes. You know, a heavier set parents might have heavy set kids, mm-hmm. thinner parents might have thinner kids, that kind of thing. Parents do tend to pass body issues on to their kids. Mm-hmm. Jonathan Baylor is with us. He is the author of the best selling book, The Calorie Myth How to Eat More, Exercise Less, Lose Weight, and Live Better. Jonathan, thanks for coming on WBAP this morning. Thank you for having me. Do parents do this? Is it just kind of an on-purpose thing that this is the way I was raised and this is the way I want you to be raised, or they pass on their body image just unknowingly? I think the key thing for us to look at as parents, I have a two-year-old and a four-year-old daughter myself, is the way we do this unknowingly. I think we've made a lot of progress as a society to to break out of old molds that maybe our parents put us in, but there are statements that we say unconsciously, like, does this make me look fat? which anchors our children to think of their bodies in terms of how they appear versus how they perform. And look, bodies matter, right? If you weigh 800 pounds, your life is not going to be as good as it could be otherwise. But by focusing on performance rather than appearance, we can help kids to have healthy bodies and healthy minds. How do you focus on, how do you change that? How do you change the mindset and focus on performance? It's a simple word tweak. Instead of thinking about how you look, it's how you feel. So, for example, when you ate those cupcakes the other day, sweetheart, I said this to my daughter, you know how you felt terrible 90 minutes later because you had that sugar crash and you had a stomach ache? Well, how did that make you feel? So instead of saying, sweetheart, if you eat that, you're going to be fat and no one's going to love you, I said, sweetheart, you know how that made you feel bad? How can we make you feel better? You know, when I, 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 it's funny, I do this every weekend, I'll have something and I'll say, uh, an hour later, I feel horrible. But, you know, I'm back the next weekend for more. It's tough to break an old habit. It is, and that's why starting with our children at a young age is so important by giving them that understanding that they can control how their bodies feel and they can live better. We can start those patterns very early. So should you look at uh, your your daughter or son and and say, listen, if you want that ice cream, you better eat those carrots? Is that that good to still say something like that? I think a good thing in a specific example where a child wants ice cream is, first of all, we all know the story of the Garden of Eden, right? The quickest way to make your child want that ice cream even more is to prohibit them explicitly from having it without any real reason. Oh, (laughs) yeah. That's really not a good approach. But what we can say is, you know, if you eat that ice cream, let's see how you feel. And maybe, you know, let's go for a walk later. Yeah. Okay. Let's eat ice cream and cake and everything and immediately get up and let's, let's go do a mile. Uh-huh. I well, love this. I love the idea. Eat more, exercise less and lose weight and live better. I love that title in your book, The Calorie Myth. I I'm just curious, how do you go about doing those things because they seem to contradict what the common knowledge would be? Unfortunately, we lost sight of what was previously common knowledge, which is food is medicine, or let food be thy medicine. Honestly, it's one of the the oldest aphorisms in the English language. And the problem is we don't eat food anymore. We eat ultra-processed products. In fact, studies show that our children are getting about 60 to 70 percent of their calories from ultra-processed products rather than food. So if we eat food, for example, things you find directly in nature, by eating more high-quality food, this is the quickest and easiest ways to heal and, frankly, slim our bodies. Jonathan Baylor is with us. The book is called The Calorie Myth, How to Eat More, Exercise Less, Lose Weight, and Live Better. I love the idea. Jonathan, thanks for coming on WBAP. We appreciate it. Thank you.